Welcome to VIP TV, South Florida's number one lifestyle and entertainment TV show with your host, Anna Maria Reyes, Jennifer Riley, Melissa Garcia, and Jenna Stoffer. Hi, and welcome to VIP TV. I'm Melissa Garcia, and today we're taking you to Toronto for the Toronto International Film Festival, and then heading to some cool spots in the Florida Keys, and checking in with Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. All that and much more in VIP TV. Hi, I'm Jennifer Riley. And I'm Anna Maria Reyes. Today kicks off at the Toronto International Film Festival, one of the most renowned film festivals in the world, taking place in one of my favorite cities in the world. And in one of my favorite cities as well, especially when I got to interview stars such as Amy Adams, Gerard Butler, and some Oscar winners, including Casey Affleck, who won Best Actor, and Damien Chazelle, who won Best Director for La La Land. Check it out. Tom Ford was saying that you didn't even have to move your face in order to show your emotion in the film. He was saying that's how amazing you are. How did you achieve that? You know, it's just, it's all the preparation and then you just, you know, Tom just let the camera roll and you just, you just feel, you know, you just, uh, I always say uh, acting is so much about imagining what's not there. And so really, it's just really being present. Yeah. Well, I didn't think the story up, but when I read it, I knew that it was so beautifully written and the characters were so completely drawn that I, I had to do it. So there has been Oscar buzz for you, both you and Michelle Williams with this film. How do you feel about that? I, I'd be thrilled to see Michelle get an Oscar. And yourself? Yes. Hi, Gerard. So this film deals a lot with you realizing that work is not the most important thing. In real life, how do you maintain a work-life balance? No, I don't. Work is the most important thing. <laughs> I love it, and I don't care about friendships. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, um, I, you know, I think it's just something that you develop, and you don't always get it right. You know, there's times that I'm, I'm working too much, or I realize that I've been hanging out too much and not working enough. But normally, work is the, especially when you're acting, because it's long hours. You know, you do 12, 14 hours a day. Um, so you just got to make sure that you really force yourself to take time off. So Chloe, now this role was so important because it helped so many people. And a big um, thing about it was for people not to judge people based on an appearance that is or what they don't know. Talk to me about the importance of that and how it plays a role in your life. Um, you know, I think that our generation in particular is so quick to judge and so quick to label. Um, and I think this movie really sheds light into the fact that we all need to look past the textbook. We all need to see the human behind that and that, yeah, medicine is medicine. You can go to school for 10 years and you can, you can learn everything you know about a human being. But what Dr. Suhal did is he sat down with Susanna for the first time after months of doctors seeing her and he looked into her eyes and he saw the human. He saw the human trapped within a brain that was distraught with illness. Um, so people need to stop looking at what everything seems like on the surface and actually realize that we do have um, a lot more going on. So you play a man that wanted to escape reality in the real world. Has there ever been a time in your life when you kind of wanted to escape what was going on? When isn't there a time I want to escape? With right your now. life. All these microphones here. And, and, I, and I love it. I love the story of Wakefield because it's a story that I think resonates with everybody, male or female, that at some point, haven't we had enough? I know you're all feeling that. You've all been there. And it's like, at times, you want to just exhale and put the phone down and allow yourself to be a human being again. And that's what Howard Wakefield does in a very interesting way. What was your biggest challenge in capturing the whole magical feel that this film had? Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it was a lot of big sequences in my head, you know, a big traffic dance, you know, number and the two leads floating up into the stars, like these big fantastical sequences that for a while I had no idea how they would actually feel on screen. So uh, it took a while to get the movie made, but during that time I was able to really kind of prepare and work on how to shoot them. Uh, and so I think that's why we were able to, you know, do it. Whoever said beauty comes from within must have been talking from inside this place right here. What's up guys, Paige here for VIP TV and today we're at Maxim Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale to learn about some of the trendiest, most cutting edge cosmetic and health procedures on the market by one of the industry's leading doctors, Maxim Chumoff. We're here to find out why people from all over the world are relying on Dr. Chumoff to live happier, healthier lives.
What is unique about Maxim Medical Center? We will incorporate most advanced treatments, technologies to achieve best results. Uh, every patient who comes for hair restoration in, at Maxim Medical Center will receive a robotic hair surgery, PRP treatment of the scalp, a phototherapy and a pharmacological treatment with uh, pills and all these treatments will ensure the best outcomes possible. I probably wish I would have done this two years ago when I thought about getting it, you know, but this didn't exist. I think it's been incredible. You know, there's no, I'm in no pain. Dr. Max does it in a two-day system. So the first day they identify the sites and then the second day you come in and they harvest the grafts and do the transplant. And it's been, it's been really, really an easy process. You know, no pain at all. PRP is the only natural way to regenerate the skin. Okay, we use only a blood component called PRP, play rich plasma, to inject to the problematic areas of the face to bring the natural regeneration of the skin, improve collagen, improve uh, skin structure, and we use for that your own blood, so you don't get any artificial components injected. Well, after a long shoot day, us VIPs just had to take a break here in the IV lounge for some much needed energy boost. And right now, as you can see, I'm being intravenously administered a holistic cocktail of nutrients that'll hydrate me and give me more energy. But patients can actually choose from a whole menu of different intravenous options. And the best part is there's minimal discomfort. You gotta check it out. We're the only robotic hair transplantation center in Broward County. Oh my gosh, you guys, that banana colada IV was exactly what I needed. I really feel so much more revitalized and ready to take on the rest of the day. So as you guys saw throughout the whole video today, Maxim Med Center combines medicine, technology, and experience to deliver the most desirable results to all of its patients through a wide scope of services. To find out more information, visit them online or give them a call at 954-945-2909. That's it for now. For VIP TV, I'm Paige Brusky, and we'll see you next time. Talk about state-of-the-art robotic hair restitution, the future is here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And next, Kavita takes us to a special event where the legendary Phil Collins makes little dreams happen. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Kavita Shanae here for VIP TV at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for a private audition where little dreams are made a reality. And that's happening behind us right here, right now. The Little Dreams Foundation by Phil and Orianne Collins. Follow me. Today is a very special day. You know, it's the um, third audition, music audition. We have about 100 young kids waiting to nice come in. Up. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, I mean, we're going to look at finding the next Spirit. What's the criteria besides, because it isn't just talent, right? It's other things as well. Well, it, you know, it's confidence without being big-headed. It, it is down to talent, really. I mean, it's down to voice. I mean, some, you know, some kids you can see uh, are learning an instrument, like the bass player, you know. I mean, it was probably great for his confidence to come up and play something that he learns, uh, you know, in his bass lessons. What inspired you guys to start the Little Dreams Foundation? Well, we received a lot of, uh, you know, letters at home from, from kids wanting to realize their dream and everything. And at first we were helping them financially. And uh, one day, uh, it was in February 2000, we sat down with Phil and we said, well, don't we, you know, in, on top of the, 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 the financial help, why don't we give them advice? Because this is like something very important. We decided to create Little Dreams. The adventure started 16 years ago. Did you have a dream when you were a little girl to do something that you felt like it was hard to achieve? 
Well, it's hard to achieve, but I am, you know, I'm a jewelry designer, and that was uh, my dream, and I, I made it happen. So. You know, the standout to me was little Devin. I mean, he worked the stage, and he wowed yeah. the ladies. You noticed that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he, got his, he got the pass, you know. Yeah, I mean, he could be the next rocker, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why he, that's why he got Oriana's dream, you know. He had that kind of stage presence, mm -hmm. confidence, and a voice. All right, Devin, now you got the Dreamer Pass after your performance. What was your strategy heading into today? Practicing hard and doing a great job. How do you think you had the edge over everyone else out there? Because I tried, and I think I'm really good, actually, to be honest. Where did you get your performance style from? Because you were all over the stage. You were working that stage. Like, from a few people, like Ronnie James Dio from Black Sabbath and Rainbow, um, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, Freddie Mercury from Queen. Well, what did you uh, sing out there that stole everyone's heart? What did I? I saw. I sang "Somebody to Love" by the greatest band in the world, Queen. Can we just get a little rendition here? Give me like your favorite little part of it. Every day I try, I try, I try, but everybody wants to put me down. They say I'm going crazy. They got water in my brain. I got no who common sense. He got no who by your left to believe in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, there are so many talented kids inside that door. They left me feeling so inspired. So if you have a dream and you want to make it a reality and you're a little one, be sure to check out the Little Dreams Foundation at www.ldf.cc. I'm Kavita Shanae for VIP TV, and we'll see you next time. Hello everybody, you're watching VIP TV and I'm Phil Collins. This is Anna Maria Reyes with VIP TV, and we are ready to conquer the Florida Keys. Now, the start to any adventure begins with a great meal. That's why we came to one of Key Largo's favorites, Snapper's Oceanfront Restaurant and Tiki Bar. This restaurant offers a unique old Florida atmosphere, a spectacular location and views, and some of the best and freshest Caribbean seafood around. Let's go. Peter is co-owner and chief operating officer of this delightful oceanfront restaurant. Now, Peter, this has been open since 1989, and it has quite a history. Well, the history before Snappers even, it's even longer than 89. Uh, it's called since 89 Snappers. Before, it's called Jimbo's, uh, and it was a hotel uh, hamburger place. So what separates Snappers from the other restaurants in the area? On the ocean, with a marina, with a watercraft rental, we have uh, separate menus. We have a, a bar menu, we have a, a casual plus dining menu, we have a tiki bar, we have a dive bar, we have an inside bar. You can sit and inside in the restaurant, you can sit outside, you can sit here at the bar, you can sit in the deck chairs and looking at, overlooking the ocean and have a nice cocktail. You can do everything. And you have four rooms here. Can I just live here? I just want to move in. I mean, because you have it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, we, uh, it's a kind of a hidden gem. We're with Snapper's executive chef, Chef Rob. Now tell me, what are these tasty dishes we have in front of us? Because my mouth is watering right now. They look amazing. Okay, what we have here is the world famous tuna nachos, Oahu uh, ceviche. We have our hangover burger, our shrimp two-way. And which is your favorite out of all these dishes? Um, the Wahoo Ceviche. Why is that? Because it has uh, Caribbean influences from Haiti. Just on this. Well, I'm ready to try some, so uh, can, I have a, can I have a taste? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. This is his favorite, chef's favorite, so i got to try it. This is delicious. All those dishes were truly unique and fresh, and you could definitely taste the Caribbean influences in all of them. So now we're gonna wash it off with a drink, and we have Kiki here, one of the best bartenders in all of the Keys, who's gonna whip up something special for us. Let's check it out.
This right over here will be our homemade rum runner. This will be our homemade pina colada with Captain Morgan shooter, our mango navel, and our delicious pain in the ass, but also our Captain 151 shooter. So we wanted to begin our Florida Keys road trip with a nice meal. But as it turns out, Snappers of Key Largo is way more than just a restaurant. We have world-class entertainment, these spectacular views that you can barely get anywhere else. We have hotels on premise, fun water sports, and these delicious cocktails, which we're about to have. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. Cheers. So our first stop on the VIP TV Conquers of Florida Keys trip was definitely memorable and delicious. I can't wait to go back and have some more of that shrimp. Oh, I'm so in. And next, you are taking us to a star-studded charity event that benefits kids' after-school programs. Such a great event and for an amazing cause. It's all about the kids. I'm Anna Reyes and I'm at the Eden Rock, AKA the Nobu Hotel in Miami Beach for the third annual All In For All Stars Celebrity Charity Poker Tournament. Now the After School All Stars serves over 70,000 kids nationwide and helps them succeed. And it's supported by celebrities such as Tom Arnold, Vivica Fox, Ray Allen, Alonzo Mourning, and many more who we're about to speak to. So now you are a big supporter yes. of the After School All Stars. Talk to me about how you got involved. Well, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, 25 years ago, I, he started this organization. And I, I being his uh, friend, I, I think we actually filled a movie down here and have helped him since. We're here with the queen, Vivica Fox. Now you always look stunning. You know exactly what to wear for every occasion. Talk to me about how you decided on your outfit choice. Well, you know, I always have a theme in mind. And the fact that we came here for the After School All Stars, which is a wonderful event that supports the kids, that gives them a place to go from 3 to 6 p.m., especially in today's environment when they could get caught up in gangs, uh, teenage pregnancy. I thought, hey, wear something sporty, something cute. And since I'm playing with the boys, a touch of cleavage. So this is my opportunity to help as much as I can, you know, just be here, like, powwow with the guys, their friends, help raise money and have a good time. A quarter of our population, you know, are living below the poverty level, you know, so there's a lot of young people being affected by that, and, and I felt like it's, uh, it's obviously another opportunity for us to kind of bring attention to something that is very much needed, and that's uh, uh, providing support to young people after school. With they always need people to sit down and talk to. You know, you don't have to give something to a kid that's material. You can give them their time. I played poker. I did pretty good. And uh, it was all for the kids, you know? Yeah. Anything for the kids. They said Vivica's going to be done soon. She says she's not a good poker player. And you've been there all day. I know. I stayed there for a couple of hours. I was really impressed with myself. <laughs> now, you are doing so much right now. You have a book deal that's coming out in 2018. You have a hairline. You have a clothing line and a new show. So Absolutely, and I'm also having a reoccurring role on Empire, playing Cookie's older sister, Candace. I'm back for more, stay tuned. Yes. It, it, with a country so divided, you know, it, you think, we got a, we're, we got a charity that started by a Austrian uh, conservative Republican immigrant, and here's me, Hollywood liberal, and uh, I don't know what everybody else is, but I know one thing, everybody's here to support inner city kids and give them an opportunity, and we don't care about politics, and uh, you know, we it's, it's, what, it's what America is really about. It's why America has always been great. Whether the players got lucky or not, this charity poker tournament was a spectacular event that raised a lot of money for the after school all-stars programs. The best thing is you don't have to be an A-lister or Hall of Famer to make a difference. Just go to afterschoolallstars.org and you can also go all in and help kids have a brighter future. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Reyes and I'll catch you later. Sometimes we just need to relax and escape. Lookout Lodge Resort in Isla Mirada, Florida is the ideal getaway. Just look at this place. This magical boutique hotel has an array of amenities right on the Florida Bay. So look out, because here we come. We're with Don, who is the owner of Lookout Lodge. Now, Don, I mean, coming to this place, I feel like I'm transported to a faraway land, so tranquil and relaxing. What is the draw for people to come well, here? Well, we're the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Only we're the Caribbean you can drive to. Yes. 
I mean, what you see behind us is exactly what people want in the vacation. Calm, relaxed, beautiful, and that's what's here. Every room type here is a little bit different. We, we try to cater to not just an individual who wants to come down and just get a small room, but to families. So we go from everywhere from a studio with two beds to a two bedroom suite on the water with, for a family. It's, it's just relaxed and we're, we're all about making sure their vacation is the best it can be. It's also a big wedding destination, correct? That's correct. We, we do about a dozen or so weddings a year and it's perfect for the small wedding. We can set it up on the beach for them, and it's, it's intimate, it's small. What a view, what a place to have as a backdrop to start your life together. Lookout Lodge Resort is truly a hidden gem right in the heart of Isla Mirada, Florida. From the activities right here to all the attractions nearby or just plain relaxing, you can't go wrong. For more information, go to lookoutlodge.com and check it out. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes, and I'll see you a little later. The VIP TV crew loved staying at Lookout Lodge during our road trip. It was so tranquil, it felt like we were like on a tropical island or something. <laughs> and now Paige Bresky takes us back to Miami where she got to have a chat with power couple Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. Celebs and cars! What's up everyone? Paige here for VIP TV at the collection in Coral Gables for an exclusive private cocktail event. We're here to celebrate the launch of two beautiful Jaguars. To my right, we've got the SUV F-Pace. To my left, we've got the Jaguar XE sedan. They're both beautiful vehicles. We're here to learn all about them from two very familiar faces. We've got Dwayne Wade, the NBA champion, in the house. Yes, that's right, he is here. And of course, his beautiful wife, the lovely and talented actress, Gabrielle Union. Let's go check it out. Can you speak to some of the features and benefits of the cars themselves? Well, I can tell you that Jaguar's always been known for its handling, its sportiness, and how it hugs the road. So that's built into these. Their DNA is very different. And I think that a lot of people look at the Jaguar and they think about their, their father's Jaguar their, or, or their grandfather's car. This is, this is not the case at all. They're, they're loaded with technology. What is your favorite um, car in the Jaguar collection? Well, I mean, I love them all because I get the opportunity to drive them all. Uh, because of my great relationship uh, with the collection. It's hard to decide. I actually kind of like the one that we, we pulled up in, uh, the Pulse. Okay. Would you say like the sedan is better to take the kids around in? I think the sedan is better to take my husband around in. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's kind of up there with the kids. And every time my older boys get in the sedan, they feel like, Dad, can I drive? They feel like it's safer. Anything else that you can share with our viewers at VIP TV? Give us maybe a little uh, sneak peek at something maybe you're working on personally or anything? Well, yeah, so me and uh, Dwayne, we just uh, finished our second day of filming for our, our new HGTV show where we're flipping a house. I have my season four of uh, Being Mary Jane that comes up. Uh, we have Almost Christmas. We just debuted the trailer today that comes out in November. And Birth of a Nation that comes out in October. And I have a movie with Jamie Foxx called Sleepless Nights that'll be out next February. What about your sneaker line, The Way of Weight? Well, it's doing great. I mean, it's a China brand, you know, and um, I've been able to do so many creative things. I've brought it to the States in like small portions, nothing big, and I don't know if it's ever going to be brought here big, but it does very well to China. Our, our fans out there support us very well, so it's growing each year. You're considered a fashion icon to so many people. How does it feel to be affiliated with, with such a luxurious brand? Well, I don't know if I'm a fashion icon. I would say, I, I would say so. Style. I mean, you're lo you're looking pretty stylish tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, it feels great. I mean, collection is um, is it's, it's the only partner that I have here, only family that I have here in the standpoint in Miami. Most of my partnerships, most of my deals is outside of Miami. So um, this is the this is the home brand, and um, I'm a man who loves cars, and I get the opportunity to to not only love them but you know experience so many of them. Um, so it's great. I, I love to, to be able to switch colors up, um, to switch up the styles and the looks. So uh, you know, I'm not like a kid in a candy store most days. Kudos to the collection for organizing such an outstanding event. There's an amazing group of people here tonight and an excellent inventory of high-end luxury vehicles that are born to perform. If you want to buy yourself a Jaguar, log on to thecollection.com. I'm going to test one this weekend. That's it for now. For VIP TV, I'm Paige Bresky, and I'll see you next time. VIP TV, what's up? This is your very own Dwayne Wade, and uh, I'm here kicking it with y'all. VIP TV.
a trip to the Keys isn't complete without a visit to the world-famous Postcard Inn Tiki Bar. Now, this bar has been open since 1969, but it just recently got a complete remodel and is now better than ever. Apart from delicious drinks and an outstanding view, it also offers water sports and fully remodeled rooms. So let's go check it out. The world famous Tiki Bar and the world famous Rum Runner. They come from all over. We have, you know, on Sundays we do this rum and reggae, and on the sandbar in the middle of the ocean, there are hundreds, almost thousands of boats on some days. And it's insane. People just come in, and have a good time, relax, and let loose. What we're doing is a complete remodel and revamp of the entire resort. So now talk to me about what sets this place apart. Uh, it's just the atmosphere here. We're right on the water overlooking the ocean. We have the beach right here. All of the games, the fire pits, everything's, it's just a good time. The best happy hour in town. Nicole Brandt is visiting all the way from Sarasota and this is your first time. How's your experience been so far? Excellent. I cannot explain enough how beautiful it is and like the people here are so friendly. Love it. So now you saw more of the reasons why the iconic Postcard Inn Hotel and Marina at Holiday Isle is a must-see attraction for visitors and locals alike. For more information, check out HolidayIsle.com and come visit us in Isla Mirada. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. Whether it's for business or a girls' night out, you'll want to arrive at your next event in VIP style. So check out our unique stretch flat black Camaro or our sleek white Hummer limousines. With their club-like interiors and unique styling, you're bound to look like the star of the event. For more information or to book a limo, give us a call at 954-565-0044. Hairstyle is provided by Elite Group Hair and Color Studio. That's it for this episode. For more information, head over to VIPTVProductions.com where you will find exclusive content, links to our social media sites, and everything VIPTV. Thanks for watching.